Can we talk a little bit about the messy and the hard and the in-between spaces? This is the stuff that I think we don't talk about enough, you know? And we see this in a lot of different ways. <laughs> we see it in relationships. When things get hard, people disappear. People go away. People have a hard time talking about it. I know I've experienced this. I've probably done it as well. Um, so I know that we've all experienced it to some extent. And yet, when do we feel the most cared for and the most at ease in ourself and in our relationships? It's... It's when we can go there. It's when we can have those deep conversations. And don't get me wrong, there are plenty of us who aren't ready to have those deep conversations or we're not ready to have them in every aspect of our life, and that's fine. We don't always have to be deep. But when we go there, shifts happen. We allow ourselves to have an experience and we stop holding and bracing against that experience. And it's in that letting go, in that not holding, not bracing, that we can experience release and potentially lightness. Because that's the thing about stepping into the shadow. You don't just stay in the big, dark, scary place. You bring the light in. You are the light. And in so many ways, this is what we need more of. You know, the practice of being seen mentorship program is meant to hold you through these spaces. It's also how do I say this? It's what we all need, what the world needs is for us to get out of our own way, for us to unlock our creativity, to notice what obstacles are holding us back. And if we have some new creative answers, some experiential things to try, to make space to bring that into the world. Let's get out of our rigid ways. Let's learn something new. Let's try something even if it fails. Who doesn't need that space? I know I do. I'm, I'm going to do something different. I'm having a moment where I'm really sitting here and feeling into my experience of sharing this program and somewhere internally I've been there's an obstacle that's been raising up in me around my pricing because I have this abstract arbitrary oh on this date my price rises to this and it feels not so great to me to add that level of pressure on I've been hearing from a lot of colleagues and peers and clients that they need to not feel that pressure because this is not a pressured program. And I'm not one to sit here and say, if you do this program, you'll earn six figures. Maybe you will. Maybe this will unlock that thing. Maybe you'll go somewhere deeper and you'll get something else out of it on a really personal level. I often have people wondering, what is it about this mentorship, this consulting thing? Is it therapy? Is it coaching? What is it? It's, is it business coaching? It's not. It's not business coaching. Is it therapy? It's not. It's not therapy. It's this middle space. And in this middle space, we, we look at all the messages you've taken in. We look at all the stuff that you've been told to do or the foundations that you don't yet have in place. <laughs> and... We work through what are, the, what are the things you want? What are the things that fit? What lines up with your ideals? 
because those things really matter. You're not going to build a sustainable business if it doesn't feel sustainable. I know, duh, I state the obvious. But it's true, right? I mean, if you want to build something that feels so incredibly you, <laughs> where you wake up every day and you go like, ah, this is the life I love. I like doing this every day. I've created a system that feeds me, that nourishes me. That's a sustainable system. An unsustainable system is one that depletes you, is one that takes all your energy. And so in this program, those are the patterns, those are the obstacles, those are the things we're gonna look at first, foundationally. And then, <laughs> Then we're going to go deeper and we're going to look at unblocking that creativity. And then putting into action the stuff that you unblock. So I'm taking away the pressure and I'm leaving my rates at the starting point. The program is six months long, 22 weeks. It culminates in an in-person retreat. And it costs $1,998 or six payments of $333. That's it. The prices are not going up. So one more thing about the mentorship program. Not a single piece of it lies on social media. There is an app called Slack that we're going to be using to communicate with each other. There's an online classroom that has a forum that we can also use to communicate with each other and share information and all of that stuff. But we're making this group small with intention. I'm really curating the group that we are pulling together. And I'm really excited about not being on social media. I feel that too often we get distracted by these little glowing objects in our hands. And we fall into a place of comparison-itis, am I enoughness? I don't think that that's a way for us to find our voices. I don't think that being seen on that capacity helps us to see ourselves. And so we're going to pull away from that format. So much of this journey is a personal one. And I want to make sure that it feels personal. So. Believe me, there will be ample opportunity for us to get to know each other on our calls where we could see each other's faces, um, the recordings of those calls. But social media is not going to be one of those places. If this calls to you, we can hop on the phone and have a little chat about it. And if it doesn't call to you, that is fine. If you're curious and you want to work with me maybe in another way, we can chat about that too. I have some really awesome things up my sleeve. <laughs> um, I'm getting excited, but I'm going to hold my tongue on them. I'm not going to share anything yet, but there are some really fun things coming. But um, meanwhile, I just wanted to share that with you, and I'm kind of excited to share it with you. So then I'll see you on the Popscast. Until then, take care.